there was a question on the community today about uh, need to remove scheme from workflow now this question has been asked by nick and uh, nick is asking about i am very frustrated with jira and the unintuitive nature of performing simple task so i'll not read the whole question i will uh, simply talk about uh, what he's trying to do now he's trying to basically remove a workflow from the workflow scheme or uh, remove the workflow scheme from the workflow so this is what he's trying to do the screenshot that he shared here is uh, the list of all the workflows and the associated screen associated scheme workflow scheme and usually work workflow schemes are the one that you need to attach to the project so basically using the scheme you attach the workflows to the project for a specific issue type now it can be a bit confusing i understand in the beginning when you are using jira for the very first time you have to understand these things how these things work and uh, once you know once you understand how it works i think uh, you will get the idea because usually all the configurations are attached to a project using a scheme now talking about uh, how to remove a workflow from the scheme and i guess the end goal here is to basically remove the workflow from the project uh, from the issue type from one of the issue type of the project or maybe just remove it completely now let me show you how it is done and uh, since the question is on cloud i will open my cloud instance here and i'm looking at the same similar page where i have the list of all the workflows and i have the list of all the assigned schemes now let us say you want to remove uh, one re remove the workflow from the scheme so that it is removed from the project as well you basically need to go to the scheme and then do it so let me click on the second link here right under workflow right under workflow so there is a link called workflow scheme so you can directly go to the workflow scheme uh, when you have the link now these are all the schemes that are used and let me find something like this so this one is uh, ios software simplified workflow scheme and uh, you can see here that right now this particular scheme is being used by my clone ios project and if i want to modify anything in this particular scheme i can click on the edit link here under the actions for that particular workflow scheme and right now we just have one workflow first let me sh let, let me add a workflow then we'll remove it so you can add existing workflow maybe the one that you just added in your uh, jira instance you can then click on the next button then you can assign it to maybe bug issue type for example let us say you want this particular workflow to be applicable for bug and now you have uh, this new configuration and uh, if i go to the up if i go to the project now you will have the bug issue type using this particular scheme and of course i, I need to first publish it but let us say you want to remove this uh, workflow from the scheme you can simply click on the click on the remove link here for this particular workflow and uh, you can then publish the scheme and that is it so that that is what what you need to do you need to uh, basically go to the scheme and uh, remove the workflow or add a workflow in case you are trying to add but whenever you are working with uh, schemes you have to ensure that uh, any change that you are doing it could be in the workflow or it could be maybe the mapping of those workflows to the issue type all the projects using the scheme will get affected so just be careful because uh, maybe you are a jira administrator and you receive a request from one of the team one of the project team or maybe the project admin that you know can you make a change in this workflow or this or, or in my project and you might be tempted to do that change immediately without realizing that uh, there may be 20 20 other projects using the same scheme and uh, that particular small change can affect the other 19 projects so whenever you're working with schemes you have to be careful and uh, <clears throat> i have been talking about uh, quite a lot on uh, pushing back uh, i mean you should when you receive a request from let us say your stakeholders your project managers project leads about configuration changes you should uh, have some you should ask them justification 
it is very easy to add a new custom field but why do you need a custom field it is a, it is very easy to add a new state or a new status in the workflow but you you should always ask for a justification because uh, jira is very easy to customize but uh, when you you can also overdo it and when you overdo these customizations then uh, you will get into trouble later on because uh, then you will have to then you might face issues maintaining it so this is all i wanted to share in this video i hope you enjoyed watch, watching this video and you also learned something new today thank you very much